Happening now, Tulsa Tough is back. Yeah, the three-day cycling event kicked off this afternoon in downtown Tulsa. Fox 23's Amy Hybels is live at Tulsa Tough for us with day one of the action that's underway right now. Amy. Two to the line, categories one, two. That's right, Sarah and Shay. As you can see behind me right now, we've got the winners taking a step on the podium. These are winners of the races that kicked off at 4.30 this afternoon. We've got some video we'd like to show you. You know, this is what it's all, it's all about. This is what draws the crowds down here. They want to see these professional cyclists hitting these curves at high rates of speed. It's a chance to see these cyclists, professional and amateurs, close up. A lot of excitement down here this afternoon. Now, the women's pro race kicks Category off at one, 7 two, two, and the men's pro racing kicks off at 820 of course another big highlight will be on Sunday when those racers hit crybaby hill we spoke okay. with a professional Jeez, racer right who told us that is definitely not one of his favorite events here's why I'm not the biggest fan of crybaby hill I don't like to go uphill that fast but I do love the atmosphere at crybaby hill um, it's very unique and it's definitely something that makes Tulsa special in its own right um, so, me getting to Crybaby Hill and just riding it is most likely my plan and um, I'm really excited for the atmosphere post-race to just go up there and socialize with the fans. The atmosphere is in, uh, in all of American bike racing. Um, the crowd turnout and the community support here is just unbelievable. From Friday, uh, Friday night, the first race of the year, the, the night racing, and then the Sunday Crybaby Hill crowd, it's, it's just electric. Now that was Austin Edgar who just came in third place in the 40 plus Masters Cat 1, Cat 2. He was on the podium behind me just a minute ago. Let me show you what's about to take place right now. We've got the opening ceremonies and we've got an opera singer from the Tulsa Opera that is going to sing the national anthem for the crowd that's gathered out here. Obviously the racing continues uh, over the next several hours. A lot of excitement on day one. Oh, we've got a lot of uh, cyclists coming up behind her. We'll see them in just a minute. Quite a sight out here. We're at third in Elgin. The cyclists are race uh, uh, lining up right here on the starting line. Let's just listen in for a minute. Okay, she's going to sing the national anthem, and I'm told it's not in good form to interrupt when she's singing the national anthem. I'll toss back to Sarah. I will toss back to Sarah and Shay in the studio right now.